know, why, why study a weird animal like the naked mole rat? I'm interested in how we can use data to show us the essence of the, of the thing. I was really excited until I saw them. And then I was like, which is what half of the people of the world do. I think what I aim to do is really evoke feelings and portray the personality of the animal. I like people to really consider the animals more as a being rather than a pretty picture. So I think they're very much like Marmites. I think a lot of people think they're amazing looking and a lot of people are repelled by them. Different um, people can see different things in the sort of data and information from the project. At the moment, um, from all of the activity data we've collected from millions of data points, um, we found that the, the queen, far from being you know, a lazy monarch just sitting around in the nest chamber, is actually uh, the mo by far the most active animal within the colony. Um, it's, we've calculated that she travels about three times the distance uh, as the next most active animal in the colony. So this kind, of, this kind of language that we need to develop with data is something that I'm really interested in and something that the Rat.Systems project has helped me to explore. So it does feel like a true sort of art-science collaboration where all parties involved are getting some really relevant research to publish. They were originally named um, in the 1800s by a German naturalist who actually when he caught one he thought he'd caught a de diseased or decrepit specimen and he named them heterocephalus glaber, uh, meaning uh, animal with uh, loose skin and an oddly shaped head. My favourite thing is just sitting and watching their busy behaviour. This one's probably my favourite just because of the, um, it's kind of looming out at you, it's quite, <laughs> it's quite a funny one. But it, as you can see here, the nose is kind of on the skew, so I've caught it mid-sniff, which is really cool, I think, because they rely on their sort of sense of smell quite a lot. I really like these, especially together, um, because I feel like you're in the tunnel with them, how they kind of move around together and what it is like down in their burrow systems. What I like about those, I think, yeah. Yes, mid-sniff! <laughs> Mole rats actually sleep like this, in giant piles, and um, I thought that was kind of cute. They seem so comfortable in such close proximity. It's not like London is on the tube, they actually quite enjoy it. I actually painted these very small, so if I'd known they were going to be this big, I would have put a bit more detail in them. But I thought quite a cartoony, a cartoony way would be a good way to get people um, a bit more interested. The idea behind that piece of work was trying to try and elicit life within a synthetic object and what would that mean. So when we look at nature and when we look at the clouds or the sea or the wind or whatever, it's always moving, there's a, a constant flow and yet that's not overwhelming but when we look at data visualisations we get overwhelmed often because there's so much information that we're trying to compute. It makes sense to me that that in the future when we've got more data to try and comprehend, if we can do it through sort of ambient objects that have a body language of their own, then that's going to be the way forward. And so I wanted to create something that was more moving, that helped, that was kind of, um, gave people a sense of what was happening with the animals. A bit of a change, having the art in a science setting makes it pop and stand out a bit, so I think that's helped. With naked mole rats, I think people wouldn't assume that just by looking at a photograph of them that you could tell their personality, but even when you redacted the eyes out, I still could tell the individuals because their personality just shone through. So the, the redacted portraits is about animal privacy and we're trying to, um, to highlight this idea that actually, although it's important for people to protect their own privacy, animal privacy is equally as important. 
all their individual qualities make them what they are and they're just all round interesting. There isn't anything about them that isn't fascinating. People never come and look just once, do they? They, they are very captivating and enigmatic animals, yeah.